Hey guys, Susanna here. Um, back again for another episode of my sewing journal. I've got to remember that. Excuse me. Is a um, sewing sampler journal, so things do take a little bit of time. So, what I'm going to show you here. This is what I am up to. That goes that way. Um, if you can see on there, I've done all this stitching along here and here. I'm sort of stitching around little bits here. Done little crosses there. Still got to do here and here. So that will go. It's on the other page over here. But I'm going to be starting on. Um, at it probably at the start of the next video, this will be complete, and I'll show you the front, the the, the finishing part of it. But it's mostly done. So because it does take a little while, and I, I just want to relax. But I'm going to be doing this page here, which is going to be. Um, I've got all bits and pieces I've written down in my little journal here. Where are we? I should probably use it. Um, page ideas that I want to use. I should put this. Yeah. And I wanted to do some fabrics, all different types of fabrics. So, um, Remember, these are the pages that um, we're going to be, like, you know, tucking things in. So I've got that. And then here are the pages that are left. So I need to leave a mark. Actually, I might even open it like that. Just so, so you know exactly where we are. In the page. Okay. Now it will be, I think it'll be on this one. So what I want to do, have on the top of there, and I'm going to stitch that. I might even just put it there like that for now and tuck it under as long as I know where that line is. So I'll Actually, I may have to do this. Sorry, guys. Because I've got a stitch and sew and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have that on there like that, which will sit on there. And I'm going to actually hand stitch the word fabrics. And then I've got all different types of fabrics that are written down. It should stay open. There we go. Um... I got myself a pinking shears so that I could cut around it. Now this is I've started I've cut around most of them but some of the bits I've still got to do and I thought if I do the pinking shears they're less likely to fray they're just going to be fabric samples so and I've also got I'm going to do a laces page, a doily and notifs trims and ribbons, maybe some uh, like buttons, pat patterns and different stitches. So I think I've got eight pages. So I'll see how I go. And I've hand dyed, coffee dyed all these little tags, which I'll be using today on each of these. So here's the, see I've now, look I've ironed them so I now know some of them are crooked. So that's going to be and some of them have got more than one because I just love it. So that's Baltic fabric. Baltic fabrics. So I'll just put them on there like that. That will have that little die there. Um, this is a little bit of a bigger one. I might have some of the bigger ones on the, on the top. Um, novelty fabrics. So it's going to have that there. Then I've got um, gingham. Just some of the fabrics that I've enjoyed using over the years. I have to have two pages. We'll cut them down a little bit. Just some felt. Might not 
stick that underneath there. See you, sucker. Which is, this is a vintage fabric too, so. And here's my little stash of vintage fabric. So I might do seersucker and vintage in the one stash. Just at the moment trying to place. Got some of these which I really like. 100% cotton. Now, other fabric I really, really love using. Actually, is called Sanderson Fabrics. So I may come back there. Add that on the bottom and I might have to just cut that a bit smaller because this is actually Sanderson fabric as well um, what have we got we've got some ticking and all stripes And that's sort of near the vintage fabrics. Um, chenille. Can't not have chenille. I love some new chenille. Which is also a vintage fabric. I think my novelty ones are just taking up way too much space. I'm going to have to um, do something about that. I've also got your basic fabrics, which is, this is just calico, and I've got one that's um, just the raw and one that's um, coffee dyed, and upholstery fabrics, which I enjoy using for covering books and stuff. And then I've got, these are cotton, but they're also the, you know, chintz, as in floral, chintz and floral. So, and I have used bark cloth over the time but I just can't find it see if we just try and get that in there like this pull that down and have that going across like that that can sit in there like this So we sort of want it to be actually this. I think I may even just put on the top of there because that's that same fabric that I use on the top. I thought 100% cotton, which is what that is. Maybe I just might do that. Improvise. There we go. Um, I do love the novelty fabric, it is rather cute. Maybe it can go in the middle. Um, like that underneath my chintz, and I might have to have this one somewhere else. And I've also got my, I've got velvet, really love that too, I really like that, the look of the colours. But maybe that can go on, um, on something else. And I just do... Sanderson fabrics like that and have this going underneath there like this I love Sanderson fabrics what happened to the rest of it I don't know love Sanderson fabrics There, going like this. We'll figure it out. Um, much as I love that, it's probably too long. Okay. 
tunic. Cut that a little bit smaller. So we've just got the small layers. There we go. It gives us a little extra bit there. Keep these bits for other small projects. Never throw away stuff. And then we've got this nice Sanderson fabric for somewhere else. Okay. And I've got a little bit of velvet. Don't know where that's going to go. Okay. Fabrics. I want that to come down. Put that on top of that. What about if we go that way? Probably make these a little smaller. Don't need a great deal of felt. Put that underneath. That on top. Okay, now I'm getting there. I don't want to cut that any smaller. I could probably cut that part off. There we go. And have that a little higher like that. Love the way that these are playing on each other actually, that one. Now. Okay. These are chenille, but they're also vintage. like having a few layers and I really like that little red part so once again just cut some of it off there and there I might be able to sneak that in there but I quite like it underneath so that's where that's coming like that there we could probably have that there the sand is in fabric still gonna go underneath and oh, I have got I've got some spots hmm going to be a chunky little page and I've also got this little tiny little bit of hemp which I was actually thinking of putting with the velvet there we go velvet hemp Do like these pretty bulky these things the chenille maybe we just have a couple of little dots they don't have to be big and cut these guys down to just a tad. Okay. Cook it as a dog's on leg. Hmm. 
There you go. How does that look from your end, guys? Oh, I've got my um, sari silk and shawl as well. Ugh, never ending. And something that I do use a heck of a lot, the shawl is a bit hard. It's one of those ones that's going to have to be really folded up. I might even incorporate that underneath the word fabrics, actually. I'll probably put that underneath there. Incorporate that there. Then I've got Misari Silk. Which we use all the time in our journals. It's vintage as well. It's quite old, that one. Okay. Um, somewhere you may have to chop off the squirrels sorry squirrels and go on something else and this fabric is actually quite big Sorry, silk's just there then. I think that's good. It's all. Oh, I've still got two more. Here's all my checkers. The checks. This actually reminds me of a little dress that I had when I was young. There we go. These guys are probably a tad too big as well. the Sanderson fabric I don't want to cut it too much smaller that I can so I can see a little more of the green I've got enough fabric samples. What do you reckon? Wow, 19 minutes. Now, what I might do, um, I think I'm going to leave um, the tool just, just too hard. Um, and I'll just put that over the top there like that. 
and then felt we go like that there we go okay so what I'm going to do now is um, I've got to get my little I'm just going to pause it for a second and I'm going to get a few little bits and pieces and work more on it all right back on again what I've done is I've just gotten this is actually um, tacky craft glue and so I've put a tiny bit on the top and I'm just going to do um, a sewing like a zigzag on the top of each one of these and then I've got to do hand sew this so that'll be done later and then I'm just going to come back with these and put some tags on each of them labeling what they are so I'll be back and I'll catch you um, once I've done the zigzagging and then we'll do some labeling okay I am back again and they've all been sewn on and I've just gone and got some of these little pins here and what I'm thinking is I've got this here so I'll stitch that with some fab um, thing and then put that on top of there because that's some of my favorite vintage fabric so what I'm going to do and I was thinking of pinning the like writing what they are and pinning them on there or because these flip up I could probably even pin them underneath I don't know what do you think peeps I'll just have a look but then you'll see these on that side so I got a feeling um, like the way that they can be flipped up so you can get a real good sense of the fabric either side because like those ones they are a little bit different either side um, and there is you know more than one more often oh, that one's stuck on the side I think I stuck it there you go there you go so okay so what I'm gonna do is put that over there like that grab this and then even if I have to cut it a little shorter if I need to now that is called that is called Baltic or Batik fabric B-L-B-A-T-I-K Now I'm wondering if I could just make that a little smaller Round those off a bit And then still don't know what we're going to do with that. I reckon that could probably stay the same. Maybe just have different riding with each of them felt okay now upholstery I did upholst holstery there might be another T in there holstery get the spelling of that a little bit later I think um, I don't want to get that wrong I think they can have a full one I'm going to keep these little strings because I've, um, I've dyed them now we've got calico calico could probably be 
um, kept the same length I reckon even that could probably I might do another one pin them on um, I may even just do this with that little bit there do that on there do that on there I mean they're small little things but well that has almost already got a label because they're 100% cotton but they are also chintz so I probably can do a one for that one just put that there um, What about if I cut that one? Put that there. And then just have this tiny little one here. Then Sanderson fabrics, it's almost already got that on there. So probably doesn't need it. It's like that. It's cotton. I bet it is chintz, isn't it? So there we go. Chenille and oh, more here. Um, spots. It's teeny. off have that there and have the spots here there we go and are we going to have it on the Sanderson why not I think it just looks good there got the gist of what I'm gonna do. Oh got another one here. That's it, that size. And there. They all done? Yep. So what I'll do is I'll write them all in and you'll get the gist of it and you'll you'll see it in the um in the thumbnail picture that, that will be embroidered a bit like my one here that sewing sampler one there so that's going to be embroidered and then all of these will have their names on there so you'll see those in there so that is the Baltic upholstery calico novelty silk cotton gingham spots Ticking and Stripes, Seersucker, Chenille, Sanderson Fabric, um, what's this called? Oh, these are Checks, oh, Velvet and Hemp. So, um, yeah, I think I will pin them onto the actual fabrics themselves because I really quite like these little ball pins. I think they're quite cute. Here we go. I'll show you how I'm going to do with that. Then they hang quite low, don't they? That's a bit of a bugger. Might have to get normal pins, but small ones. Maybe some of them can have the 
just normal pins. Bit of everything. Cute. Bit of both, I think. And then the Baltic. guys and I'll hang it on that top one there we go. that's coming out sit very flat on those. There we go. So we'll have a bit of everything. We want it to sit flat. Okay. Um, so you'll see the all the labels and everything in the last bit. So really happy with how that has turned out. I'll actually try and lift it up and show you a little closer how cute are they okay so that's my fabric page so i'm going to have a lace one and um, other bits and pieces as well and then the next one i'll have that finished with this lady and she's going to be on a page like that and then in there like that so i quite like it okay Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this um, part. I enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun with it. So what I want for this journal is for someone to pick it up in 50 years time and go, oh, well, what was this lady into? And it gives you a bit of an idea of fabrics I used and some of the stuff that I did. So it's sort of like a bit of an heirloom, but a sewing heirloom. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'm hoping you're enjoying this series that I'm doing. Bye.